You are now between 7 and 8 weeks pregnant. Your baby is now 1 inches long. Last week there were only going to see nodules on the place where the poor have to come. This week your child has already clearly poor. About a few days develop at the ends of the arms also the contours of the hands. Also the head gets more and more form. There are already eyes, a nose, nostrils and a mouth. However, the head in proportion with the rest of the body very big and that will continue for a while. Until later in the pregnancy is the body in proportion what larger. Your baby is still growing at a good pace, about one millimeter per day. That doesn't seem to be much, but it is when you consider that your baby two weeks ago but was as big as a grain of rice and already the size of the nail of your pinky. With an echo you'd already seen the heartbeat. So early in the pregnancy is usually a vaginal ultrasound created, who gives a better picture in such an early stage? You get that echo if there is a medical reason for it, for example if you have a chance on a multiple pregnancy or an ectopic pregnancy. It could also be that you have had a miscarriage previously or that you lose a bit of blood which makes such an echo is needed. Blood loss do not immediately something nasty to mean. It may well be that it still comes by the implantation. Maybe it's a contact hemorrhage, the result of the bursting of a blood vessel in the cervix. That is very well now by blood, leaving during sex when blood loss may occur. It is then usually to no more than a drop of blood or a little light red colored discharge. You have here more often suffer from, go past your midwife. Blood loss can also mean that you get unfortunately miscarried. In that case, you usually also get pain in your stomach and it is wise to contact your midwife and or GP. The faster settled, the better. Especially for the nursery is true, it is smart to give you timely, then are you sure have your spot on the days when you want to. You can enroll your baby from the moment you are pregnant. In the large cities are sometimes long waiting lists, especially in the most popular reception places. Check out the site of your commune for childcare in your area. Line maternity care as soon as possible. Basically you ask the maternity care even before the 16th week of your pregnancy. Also sign your healthcare provider as soon as possible that you are pregnant. Your healthcare provider you probably get a list of maternity caregivers to choose from. If you find it difficult to choose a maternity nurse agency, do check with your midwifery practice or in women who you know they have had maternity care. A maternity nurse is not someone who carries out such as household chores and mop the floor. She is there for you and the baby. She helps you get to the care and they also check for example whether you's recovering well after giving birth. In addition, she assists the obstetrician during the home birth. 